everybody, this is Naomi from The Profile Company. I'm just sitting here uploading a company profile for a client of mine, and I just thought I'd show you how to do it in case you're also trying to do the same thing. So let's get started. So looking at the page here, what we have is the banner at the top, and we have the ability now to do various things. Um, your page might look like this when it's brand new, and obviously you won't be able to do very much. There's no editing on there. What we need to do is make sure we've scrolled all the way down so we're up to the, we can see this blue banner. And it says, you are viewing the profile as a member. So we wanna click on view as admin and that's gonna open us up to actually be able to do some of the changes. So we have the pencil here for changing the logo. And when you click on that, you'll actually see the size of the logo that is required. Um, it tells you here the pixel size and you can just go over to Canva, create yourself a custom, new um, item and create it for yourself. And then you can press on the reposition and move it around. But if you did it with the right sizes, you won't need to reposition your photo at all. So then we come down to uh, all the items that are here. I've already filled out a few. Um, so you, again, you're gonna click on here for the company logo. I actually um, don't have it right now to put it on, but never mind. And here I've put on a tagline what does the company do? What's the company about? It's really good to keep with sentences that explain what the company does. Um, in this case, saying that they actually are a provider of the certificate and then also their mission. And I just throw the hashtag in because that is um, a new thing, feature that LinkedIn's got. And it'll help people to know that he's active with the hashtag um, and to go looking for different content that might be with that hashtag. So this is the first screen that comes up and where you can edit some of those things. The next thing that you'll see on the profile is that you've got this follow button and you've got a website button. And again, there's a pencil here and you would have seen it. It's exactly the same page as it was a minute ago where I was just here. You've got all the options down the right hand side here. So we're gonna click on buttons and here you can say, where do you want the um, website to go? Do you want it to go to your website? Do you want it to go to a contact us, learn more, register? So you can actually change the words and how they show how they show up. And then you can put the URL in. And as you can see here, I just, uh, you can see it's changed to register. So that's the bit that it's actually changing, learn more, which is really nice um, actually, if you're, if you're saying something, learn more. In fact, I might keep this on here now as learn more, because it's a better call to action than simply saying, visit the website. What's the website saying? What's it, what's it selling other than more information? Um, so learn more is a really nice way of going, yeah, let's find out some more about your company. Once you've made a change, you will not be able to use these buttons. You'll see that the cursor there has got a cross out circle on it. Basically, before you can move on, you've either got to save or discard your, your changes. Um, and just by the way, if you don't want that custom button on there at all, you can just switch it on and off as you can see there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save that and it's going to leave me in the page and I've got other options now to tweak and change the other bits. So I'm just gonna stay here and I'm gonna to go to the overview. So this is the previous content that my uh, client has. So what I'm just gonna do is go to the file where I've rewritten it all for him and I'm just gonna pick that up. Uh, there we go. And I'm just gonna drop that in there. And as you can see, we've got a, word, a limit of left, uh, characters and spaces again. And you can see um, it picks up Grammarly quite nicely. And I just realized I've changed all this and I just picked up an old version, but I'll just check it again. Um, and that's the company name, brilliant. So what we've literally done in here is we've done a summary of what the company does and then an overview of how we can help. This lets people know that they're in the right place and get an idea for the kind of services that you do and if they, they see themselves being a, it working for them basically. Um, and then of course the uh, call to action at the bottom. And I'm just gonna go ahead with this if you bear with me. I just wanna put some um, extra finesse into that part of the profile. So you can put symbols in um, to the profile and they will come up. So what's really nice is the graphic of a telephone. 
just got to put a space in. Otherwise, I'll end up deleting the whole thing. I'm going to put a telephone in there and a email envelope. Um, and then we just check through these details, that that's definitely the website, the, the uh, industry that they're in, the company size, how it's held, when the company was founded, and then um, any key words or specialities that we want to get in there. You can just go add speciality and type in um, I, I, the item, IT managed services. It's probably a good one to have in there. Um, but basically, he's got the key things he's offering, so that should be fine for now. So I'm just going to save that. And once that's saved, we're going to go for uh, locations. And he's already filled this information in. He's um, not wanted to reveal his full address, which is fine. Most people do that now. But let's go ahead and select the country as United Kingdom and click Save. There we go. So, And then we can also put any featured groups. So if you do own a group, um, and you want people to be part of the group and the company page, you can add the group there as well. And of course, should you need it, you can turn the profile into multiple languages, but that's very advanced and I won't bore you with it, um, as most people won't need it. Uh, so that's basically what we're looking at for how we update the page. And then once we've done that, we can um, go to profile admins and we can add other people to the profile page uh, the company page. So I'm just going to go ahead and add myself because we're working together. So it'd be nice if I can actually drive this thing as well. So I'm just going to add myself there. And of course, you can remove people where you need to from there too. Um, and you've got different types of people that you can um, bring in, like they could be um, just building the pipeline lead generation form manager. So you can, you can limit what people can do, which is really great. So I'm just going to go ahead, save that. And then when I go back, up to the top here, I can click on view as member. And we can see the, um, the headline and everything. Shame we haven't got the, the, what's it called, logo in. And you can see the about information that I've just added, which looks really smart, um, and the location as well. So um, what we want to do now is we actually want to connect this to Rich's profile, because unless um, it's connected, you will stay with the without the logo. And when you click on it, it will bring up other people who work in that company or other people who have company names that are similar or jobs that are similar, uh, which could mean that they go straight to your competition. Um, so if, if say you do something in health and wellness, that's a real key one, it's usually just yourself or a few other people, um, but there are lots and lots of people using those key terms and therefore they're gonna come across everybody else that's got doing the same thing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, um, you can see here it's not connected, or it could be, but obviously there's no logo on this one. Um, so it's not the best demonstration, but it's worth doing just in case you're here to find that out. So um, what we're going to do is if um, you've not got anything in there at all, it's not predicting it, you can just um, start typing it and actually that drop down will come up for you if you spell it right. Uh, so there we go. So there he is. Network. The, that, that's the correct one. Um, you may find that your company appears twice. I believe LinkedIn's uploaded from company's house all the official information, <laughs> Make up new company pages. Uh, so that's why you've got some in capital letters. But just check it is the one that's yours. It's written the way you want to and it connects to the right one. Click on there. Click save. And that will have come up. There are better videos where I demonstrate that um, and it actually does work, obviously, and make a difference. Um, but I just wanted to show you that here for this, the purpose of this video. So that's how you update your company page. When you want to uh, manage in the future, you can click on your drop down bo box and you will see your company page listed there. And of course, you click on it and in you come. You've got uh, your analytics, who's visited, updates and followers, and you've got your recent activities there you can look at as well. Obviously, it's a very but new page, so that's not happening right now. Um, but hopefully you found this uh, webinar useful. If um, you want to find more tutorials like this, I highly recommend, of course, my own website, theprofile.company. And on here, you will find boom, 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 uh, a nice picture of me. <laughs> um, you will actually find here 
get all the help and speed with most of the parts of the LinkedIn profile. Um, you just need to click on one of these items and you'll end up on a page full of information um, telling you exactly how to do each different part of the profile. So uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. I'm always really happy to answer your questions and get this moving for you um, and get you using LinkedIn to generate new business leads and become the go-to expert in your industry. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you again.